y'all, I'm Sugar Kane, and this is my lovely friend Justin, and we're back for another episode of Give Me Some Sugar, where we create cakes based on looks from Drag Race Hersley. I've been teaching cake decorating for years, and Sugar is here to help me drag up my designs. You like cake? I Mama's serving her own cakes for me in so many cakes. Baby, you are giving me body <laughs> in this. Welcome to Give Me Some Sugar. So, Justin, what have you cooked up for us today, girl? Well, today, Sugar, we're actually gonna be taking inspiration from a New York queen known as Peppermint. Minty fresh, but it ain't for free. Well, you better never try to come for me. Ah, I love her. That's my New York sister. Ooh, I'm excited. You love her? Okay, so I wanna take inspiration from Peppermint's iconic club kid moment on the runway. Yes. We're doing bold colors, the red and the white and the black latex. We're gonna be doing the drip cake technique today and working with fondant. I love it, I'm so excited. Okay, let's get going then, you ready? Okay, Sugar, so we're back. We've got all the ingredients laid out to make this peppermint-inspired runway look. Are you ready? I am so ready. Let me lay out some of the ingredients here, okay? We've got our candies. Obviously, we need the peppermints to make a peppermint cake. Duh. And we've got fondant. Well, and we've got our bench scraper here, some scissors. We've got our two spatulas, our icing bag, and, of course, our special ingredient today to make the drip cake ganache. Not to be confused with silky nutmeg ganache. No, there's no nutmeg ganache. just a sweet. Fifth sip, got the good old milk. Let me walk you through the steps right now. Perfect. We're going to take this white bag of icing, and we're going to the tip. Would you mind snipping I my tip? I love to snip the tip, baby. Be careful, though. Ooh, what are we gonna do? We're actually gonna go in a circular motion around the cake and just okay. get a round of white icing on. And you're gonna follow this stripe with a red one. Okay, let's see if Nana can do it just as good, girl. I have faith. Ooh, oh, bitch. That is it. This is what we're doing, guys. We're building up the color, the red and the white stripes to mimic Peppermint's runway look. I totally remember this look. This look was amazing. When she oh. turned the corner, I remember just screaming. Oh. It's definitely one of the better looks that she did that season. I agree. It was totally so on brand great. for her, and it was just such an influential piece. It had so many bright, poppy colors. Because she's always looking like so stunning and so beautiful. And Which was the challenge, and that's why she did so good at it. Thank you. Now, you know, our stripes are not super duper even today, but that doesn't matter because- AKA my. <laughs> and so what we're gonna do is actually, once we've got these stripes on, go with our spatula, smooth them out, you're not even gonna know any better. Work! That's what I love, it's like, cause you don't have to be perfect. No, like, no. you don't have to do this Like, you just gotta go in. That's right. Live your little life. Ooh, and live your life. Day, it's just frosting, bitch. Now, drip cakes are super popular right now. Everybody on social media is doing them. Why? Because they have such a big visual impact. Just like peppermint. We're gonna go into the spatula and just start smoothing out the top of this. Work. Just to kind of get it pushed into the cake, just like that. And you guys can see I'm placing my hand in one spot and using my left hand to turn the table. It makes it so much easier to smooth it out Oops. perfectly. We're gonna go in with this guy and just get it pushed in. And you don't wanna move your spatula too far up or down because you wanna keep those stripes intact. Okay. Oh, sh That looks really good. <laughs> you, it, budget, mama. You, you must be working out, boo. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, there you go. <laughs> okay, Sugar, so we're actually gonna go in with our bench scraper right now, and all we have to do is just get that pushed into the side. Oh, that's perfect. You wanna do this once? You wanna see how it goes? I love it, like, yeah, okay. let's do it. Here Let we go. Let me her off for you. Get a good look, cause it looks beautiful now. Once I get my hands on it, I might like, this bitch up. This is the before, mama. Okay, this is cool. It's easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, cake decorator. The, the whole cake's gonna be like red, girl. Awesome. Oh, she got skills, honey. Bitch, look at that gig. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just smooth this towards the middle. You know Peppermint's gonna read us, too, if we don't get you this know. right. Goodwill pickup is on Sunday. She's gonna be sad that she ain't here so she can have a slice of this cake. Peppermint, this one is for you. We're gonna eat this whole thing. Amen. This is actually chocolate ganache that's been dyed black. And we're just gonna squeeze it into a circle like this. I can't believe that's chocolate. I'm gonna give it to you. Just like that. Yes. That's okay. it. And we're adding that black latex illusion with our uh, ganache right now. And don't be afraid to be a little dirty with it. That chocolate's okay, gonna move around. Okay, because I'm a little nervous. Get it in there. All of there. a sudden I got like, I froze up, bitch. Get it on. Now is it easy to make ganache? It's really easy to make ganache. You know, the only two ingredients in chocolate ganache is heavy cream and chocolate. Mm. And what you do is you take the chocolate and you put it in the microwave. And once it melts down, it looks exactly like this. The thing about coloring it though, is you're gonna need chocolate safe food color. If you add regular food color, it's got water in it. So the chocolate just gonna, uh, you know, when chocolate see, and water meets. It's uh -huh. good thing I asked. This is the technique, y'all, so pay attention. Time for the drip. We're gonna take it 
down to the edge just like this and let it fall naturally. And you can change the way that these fall. You can add more, less, give it a go. Let's see what it looks like from this angle. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful! <laughs> Don't be okay. afraid to add some long ones and some short ones. Ooh, that's a good drip you got. She's a natural dripper, girl. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, Miss Sugar, you look like you're in your element. Don't this is great. Come on, cake trends. Oh, that is gorgeous. Just the idea we're going for with this. Best drip in the land. Oh, she's beautiful. Cake. Who knew she was on trend, girl? Okay, sugar, so now we've got the uh, chocolate ganache on our cake and the stripes that look absolutely gorgeous. We're getting closer and closer to making it look like peppermint, but we need to add that gorgeous peppermint prop she had. Yes, the big lollipop. And we're making that out of fondant. You ready? I'm not a huge fan of fondant. You gotta sell me on this fondant. Okay, here we go. So, sugar, we've got our fondant now. We've got our peppermint candies and we've got a little bit of shortening here. We're gonna put some on the board to lubricate it. Oh, I love a good little lubrication. Well, you just work it in, mama. I know you got that good, oh, those good hands. Uh -huh. Just a little bit. We need to get our hands covered in the shortening because when you work with the fondant. Like manteca, girl. <laughs> don't, don't you go frying no chicken with this, baby. It's the best thing to fry chicken with, girl. <laughs> okay, right. fondant comes out. We're gonna take it out of its plastic wrap and I'm gonna let you try some of this and see what you think of fondant, girl. Okay. Let's make um, a rope. Can you do okay. this? Kind of like a snake. How long inches? you want? Ooh, 12 inches. I want a 12 inch thing, oh. I think I can handle it. I love me a 12 inch rope, honey. I feel like that's something Peppermint would say. She's such a loud bitch. Preach, girl, preach. She is super loud, and she is like an icon in New York oh. City Night Live. She's so amazing. She is like the first trans actress yes. to be cast in a principal role on Broadway, which oh. is huge. Legendary. I mean, that's like every kid's we're gonna yeah. put these two snakes together and make them friends. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna braid it like this. Girl, I live for this. Come on, like snake. so. Boob it. Yeah, it's, it's it. the gist. It's the gist. It. There you go. Okay, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put our lollipop stick in. And it looks good. good. And this is this kind of is reminiscent of the prop peppermint used on the show with this costume. So let's get this in the freezer for a couple of minutes. I'll move this stuff cleared out and we'll get the cake decorated. That sounds mm -hmm. amazing. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, sugar. Actually, you match this cake. I actually do match this because I'm wearing red and black today just for Pep. So, <laughs> oh, we're down. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this candy okay. in. We're going to find a spot on the cake that we're going to actually build the candy around. How okay. does this part look? I think it looks amazing. All right, Stick I'm going it in. in. Ooh. Ew. Look, yeah. like I said, I'm not a huge fan of this fondant. What is this? made out of. It's basically just marshmallows and powdered sugar. Really? Melt down the marshmallows, put in some powdered oh. sugar. Just like you're making any type of dough, just roll it on the counter till it's a ball. Well, that's crazy, because I had not known that, I'd have been eating this shit the house down. In my mouth. I guess Fonda's <laughs> my new favorite. What we're gonna do is just take some peppermint candies. We're gonna add them, we're gonna come down. Just put them in anywhere. Put them in, fill in the spots between the suckers. I think we are getting into this peppermint fantasy, I girl. Love it. This is Club Kid down. That's perfect. Changing the way you add the candies to it adds a lot of dimension and texture. Mm -hmm. And you know what we could even do? We can put one of these in a bag and just smash the hell out of it. Can not believe what they are asking us to do. So I'm gonna take this candy and just put it Sprinkle it right on. here in the crevasses. I love a good crevasse. Just like that. Oh, that's cute. Just kind of makes it a little bit more avant-garde and edgy. Sugar, these are really interesting sprinkles. They're actually, well, try to guess what you think they're made they out of. They are amazing. I mean, Look it looks that. like it's made out of metal, it, but I doubt that. Fully um, edible. Actually, the inside of it is made out of spaghetti noodles. Ooh. Spaghetti noodles? Mm -hmm. It tastes sweet, but it's really crunchy. Put some on the sides, too. We have this gorgeous drip. We can add You mean, some. like, place it? Like, Ooh. you just, this is really cute. This looks like it'll stab the hell out of you if you got too close. One finishing touch. Just take a star tip like this. Okay. Bring it down to the back. You want to snip the tip? I would love to snip the tip, baby. Right. Boom. And we're just going to add some stars, just like this. Okay. Just kind of breaking up the texture and just getting more visual out of this. We want lots of dimension, lots of texture. I mean, this is a club kid look. Love it. Okay, glitter. The final touch. Beautiful. Oh, she's stunning. That is a peppermint inspired cake. Man, this is a sickening Christmas cake too, girl. It does look like a Christmas cake. Oh, bitch, you know the rest. I want to sex you up. I love you. That's all I have to say. Genius. We did an amazing job. Yes, we did. 
Peppermint is gonna eat her heart out for this, girl. Well, kids, that's another episode of Give Me Some Sugar. Please stick around for the next episode where we bring you more legendary looks from the Drag Race stage. I'm Sugar Kane. I'm Justin. And we'll see you next time. Mama's serving her own cakes.